Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where I think it's time to go on a little bit of a gratitude crystal hunt, because we really do want to help Metro out. And it's going to be kind of profitable for us. Damn it. <laughs> it's going to be profitable for us to do that. So we only have nine more to really find in Skyloft, and technically that's all we need to turn into Betro for a couple of very nice rewards early on. So... The second gratitude crystal that we're going to get should be on the second floor. Uh, somewhere near the northern side, I think. There it is. Easy to find, hiding in the flower pot. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these and show them to Betro. So, unfortunately, I do think that that's going to play every time we pick up a Gratitude Crystal. The third one is actually pretty close by. And now that we've got the Beetle, we should be able to fetch it pretty easily. We need to go to the Sparring Hall. In fact, I think this is the only one that you need an, uh, an item to get. Why are you still here? My dude! It's called me time. Maybe you should look into it. Where is it? Should be up in the rafters. Fortunately, time will not pass until I go back to sleep. Ah, oh, there it is. It's okay, you snagged it. And because you picked it up, we don't go through. The dialogue, so that's number three. Okay, number four. This should also be pretty close, although... Yeah, we have to go this way. Okay, so... Hey, Pippet. How many gratitude crystals do you have? Alright, so down the stairs... There should be a... Pippet, Pippet, you need to patrol further than the... I'm not academy. This is not- I'm not getting paid for this. There should be something in... Bye. That one died. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, the cats can fly. So that's good. Uh, there should be one around... Yep. There you go. Flew back up here. There should be one around here. Actually, I think it's going to be down right here. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect them to show them to Betro. Number four. Almost got enough for our first reward. So now the little cat thing is in the air, and that's going to be kind of more of a pain for us. We need to find someone's house. We're going to be going in someone's house at night, because remember, everybody in Skyloft is so incredibly trusting! Skyloft Plaza. Ow! Now here's the other reason to do this for Betro. Um... Betro being in, even though it's entirely unintentional, uh, Betro being in Skyloft is why the monsters are here. And that's what I'm looking for. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. I'd like them to show them to Betro. So, it's a little bit of early spoilers, but... Betro being a monster and being in the area is why we have these minor monsters showing up at night, and it's also why the little cat things are evil. Because they're responding to his negative energy. So, if we actually turn Betro into a human, uh, Skyloft will be much safer at night, and we won't have to keep hitting the little kitties. So, we're gonna kind of be doing this for the kitties. Alright, so the sixth one is 
north of the bazaar, along that area with the lower planks. And I hate hearing the little kitties whimper. I mean, they, they sound so sad. But they're gonna kill me if I don't defend myself. And I'm really tired of seeing chews. Chews in this game, not enjoyable. All right, so around here, there it is. We walked past this one. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness. That crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these to show to Petro. Oh, think about Petro. Um, remember in both A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening, you had that bat creature? that you summoned in the altar? Um, I'm pretty sure that that's Betro. So this Betro is a reference to that one, I think. All right. Next one should be at the tower. At the end of Skyloft. Should be over there. But yeah, it's interesting. I think that Betro is a direct reference to those two, or to that monster from those two games. Ah, I think I already see it. Number seven. Right over here. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect them to show them to Betro. Kind of could do with the whole, without the animation of it actually entering my collection. That was cute once. You kind of wish I didn't do that every time. Okay, so... There should be... Let's see. Uh, we need to find the large pumpkin patch at the east end, which I think might be over here. Because there is one there, and then the final two are, um, the final two are past the waterfall cave. So these, this one might be a little bit of a pain. Okay, that's just his grave glowing. Should be a pumpkin patch. This looks like the place. Pretty large pumpkin patch. With bats. There it is. Excellent. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with uh, th feelings of thankfulness. I can't read the rest of this. Uh, show them to Betro. Alright, so here's an idea. Oh, here's another idea. You caught one Sky Stag Beetle. These bugs are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pincers pack a lot of crunch, so watch your fingers. We need to start collecting insects to improve our potions with. Uh, so here's my idea. Can I pull a Zelda and just fly to the cave? Because we don't need to go through the cave, we just need to reach the end of it. Let's find out. Oh right, I can't fly at night. Well, that proves that. My bird ain't coming back at night. Oh there, trainee. You'll never be promoted to full knighthood if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Hey! Hey! Hi! Show off. Okay, so I need to go through the cave, obviously. I forgot you can't fly at night, even though I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. Uh, I will see you when we get the final two gratitude crystals. See you in a second.
All right, finally made it through the cave, and there is... You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these and show them to Petro. I don't know what this one's doing down here. This one's a bit, bit weird, but the tenth one is right nearby, and this one makes a lot of sense. Because this one is right over here, where we rescued our Skywing, our Skyloft bird. You got one gratitude crystal. These form when a person or bird is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these and show them to Petro. Alright, so that's 10 out of the 15 that are loose and just out in the world. Now, there are 80 overall. So there's still going to be plenty of work for us to do. But now that we've got these 10, we can get the first two rewards from Betro. I think I'll do a quick cut and I will see you back there. All right, time for our first two turn-ins, our first rewards. Let's see what we get. Hello, Betro. I have brought you 10 gratitude crystals. <laughs> Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. You got the medium wallet. The hefty capacity of this wallet allows you to store, store up to 500 rupees in it. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Oh, gracious me, that is a prodigious quantity of gratitude crystals you've brought for me. This is such an appallingly insufficient reward that my cheeks burn hot with embarrassment. But please, take this. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor unfortunate demon in need? Alright, how many do you want for your next reward? Oh, I want to be a human so badly it pains me. Please hurry and gather more gratitude crystals. Next, come and see me when you gather 30 of them. Alright, so that's gonna be a while, even with some of the quests that we get to go do, which I do want to do, before we go to the next part of the game. So it's time to head back to find a bed and take a nap. I will see you in the morning, because I'm all sleepy. Eh, good night, or good night's sleep. Always good to sleep in somebody else's bed, specifically your bed. Ah, Link, welcome. How's my Pippa doing at school? Eh, not bad. Kind of a... Kind of overbearing. Kind of a holier-than-thou attitude. Thanks for letting me use your bed. Alright. Hmm. The girl who went missing has been found safe? I see, so she wasn't abducted after all. That's a relief to hear. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess that case is closed. Great work, Valiant Knight. Are you hitting on me? Alright, so which house was hers again? Uh, I think it might have been across the bridge? Yeah. It's over here. Cookie's house! Found your daughter! Oh, Link! Kukiel is safely back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. I will take these. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feeling of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Up to 15. Did you have fun with your friend? Oh, it's you, Link. Uncle Bats told me he wants to see all the gratitude crackles he can. All the gratitude crackles he can. But how's he gonna do that? Uh, I will continue bringing them to him. What's in your dresser? You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Ah, do what I want. Do what I want because a pirate lives free. Wrong game. All right. So we finally finished that quest, and I want to go out on a bit of a flight. I'm looking for a particular island with someone who's in particular trouble. So even though we've... Oh, hey. Hmm. 
This might be what I'm looking for. Uh, I wonder where she's gone. Is there something a knight in training could help you with, sir? Hmm. I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong? No. Ah, Link, you really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. No. Hey, Link, would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Link. Southwestern sky, you say? Alright. Let's go for a flight. Now that I'm allowed. Yeah, uh, getting around... So somewhere over here, probably. Getting around, um... Getting around Skyloft. And getting to some of these, uh, other islands. Oh, there's my marker. Um... Definitely means that you have to take advantage of sleep. Quite a bit. You have to sleep in particular places. Colorful island. Well, I did see a rather... Colorful island. Over here. Ah, and I think I found who I'm looking for. That was easy. Yeah, screw you, Silkloth. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Well, if it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now he can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now he can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Link, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Of course. <laughs> Also, why does your design look very familiar? Thank you, you're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. Huh, really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. Your design looks real familiar. I feel like I've seen that one. Oh. Right. You actually have to run and jump. At least I'm not talking to Skyloft yeah. Knights. There we go. Why do you have to run and jump? I don't know. I feel like a solid design. Maybe in Twilight Princess? <laughs> oh, hey, look, full fledged knights. Your bird's not pretty like mine. My bird's a nice crimson color, which, you know, is why, why uh, crimson birds appear on Halion shields. This is, they're referring, well, I mean, now, with the release of this game, they're a reference to this game. Before, you know, this game was a reference to them. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, hey, auto sail cloth. Maybe it does that if you're gonna die. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take her this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. You got some mushroom spores. These spores from a giant mushroom are said to work wonders on injured birds. If she uses this, it will quickly heal the bird. She should then be able to make her own way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. I'm counting on you, Link. Absolutely! For an empty bottle, I will literally do anything. I mean anything. Anything. <laughs> Alright. So this is a nice quick way to just go ahead and get a third empty bottle. Try to remember how many there are actually are in this game. But once you get a third one... You really start being able to get flexible with what you're able to carry. 
So I definitely wanted this before we went to the new area. Brought your medicine. <laughs> wow. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief, you brought the medicine. Here, take it. Get this crap out of my empty bottle. Thank you, now I can heal my bird's injury. Mm. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. I was beginning to think we were doomed. You saved my life, and my birds. We both owe you a huge thanks. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. And we're already up to 20. We're a quarter of the way there. Here we go, see you back in town. The Getting these in batches of five are like the major reason why I'm not actually tracking gratitude crystals because why? All right, so let's see. I could go investigate this. I really wish there was a faster way to put this marker back. I could go investigate this. Or I could investigate a couple other islands over here. I am kind of curious. I'm gonna put a marker there, but I'm gonna go look at this colorful island right yeah. now. Should be pretty easy to find, it's right there. How the hell did you get this to fly? Down I go. Hello. <laughs> Right up, boy! Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Little. Yeah. Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask? I call it Fun Fun Island! I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors. I do enjoy both of those things. I can kind of guess what it might be, just looking at what you got laid out here. Looks like it's going to be a way to get money. Or lose money. Because that was definitely... These are definitely Rupor spaces. <laughs> Can't wait to land on these 100% of the time. Alright, let's go check out where I put that marker. Alright, the marker, I think, is around the storm. So let's go ahead and take advantage of this. Yeah, I see it. It's right near the, uh, the red breach. I do love that they put those things here just so that you... Oh, probably want to avoid that. Uh, just so that you have a much faster way to get around. It's very nice. Why are there so many whirlwinds right here? That's kind of disturbing. Go ahead and take advantage of this one. Almost waited too late, didn't I? Look at that. Alright, this is the other island that I wanted to take a quick look at. Remember when I said they should turn bamboo chopping into a game? I'm pretty sure this is that game. I'm absolutely certain this is that game. And this might be easier with the Wii U. Or uh, with the Switch instead of the Wii U. Oh my god, how much forehead do you have? Whoa, is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run into you here. What is this place? This here is my secret spot where I come to work the kinks out of my sword arm. 
There was a time I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks were always cheering me on like it was a parade, but you know, time passes. And I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So that's what drives the fella here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Link. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold up a second. Get your horses holded. There's got to be a way to splice th spice things up a notch or three. Hmm. Uh. Yep, that's the ticket right there. You're going to take a swing at whittling down that big old bamboo right there in the middle of the room. Thing is, see, it's a contest to see how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll stroll out of here with a prize. It'll cost you 10 rupees to see what you're made of. You want to give it a shot? Sure, not free. You have got to be pulling my leg. I told you there's a prize on the table. You think I'd do that just for popularity's sake? How am I going to put food on my table if I let you play for free? If my family could eat popularity, they'd be, they'd be stuffed full all the time, but they can. What do you say? One try will cost you 10 rupees. Alright, sure. <laughs> Alright, now the trick to this is to slice perfectly horizontal. I might have a technique to get this to work. Okay. Technique's not gonna work. Uh, cause I actually activate... My spin attack. 11 cuts! You're not letting any records, you gotta get at least 15. Okay. It's clear you got yourself a stubby little sword. You did mighty well considering that. See, the longer the sword you got, the easier it is to zip through that bamboo like a loaf of warm butter. If you get yourself a longer blade in the future, come back and try again. You'll be surprised what a little extra steel can do for your chopping score. Come on back whenever you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword arm. Okay, I forgot that I was going to be accidentally uh. activating the spin attack. I'm in. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this might actually be easier or harder than I thought it would be. May not be able to get a super high score without a longer sword. Try one more time. Uh, 19 times is pretty good. Score this time is 19. Yeah. Hoo wee, a new record. Way to go, kid. No. Well, you got miles to go, but I'll give you something for the effort. Here's 30 rupees. Next time around, shoot for 20 cuts. No. Oh, look at that. Now that I take a getter at that thing, okay. All right, I'm going to try this a couple of times to try to at least get to 100 so that I can buy um, the adventure pouch upgrade from Beetle. So I will see you in a moment. All right. So that took a little bit longer than I thought. It's not hard to get 15 cuts if you have a good pattern, but it's also easy to screw up your pattern. And, you know, um, miss. Now, a couple of times I hit 25 or above, and if you hit 25 or above, um, or 20 or above, and not 25, you don't get money, which is actually kind of not what I was there for. You get monster parts. I got two monster horns by beating my score by too much, so I actually had to balance slicing between 15 and 20 times if I wanted money, which is a little bit annoying. Kind of really, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to need the monster parts for things. But when you're there for money, even if the monster part is technically more valuable, you don't want it because you lost 10 rupees to get it. And I was actually down to my last 10 rupees um, and almost flunked out of the game. Fortunately, I paid extra attention to get my money back there. 
So now that we have 100 rupees, we can get that last adventure pouch upgrade and be able to carry six items. I think that's going to be a pretty good way to go ahead and close out an episode. Can't think of too many things that I even can do at this point. I'm pretty sure this is the last absolute thing I, I really should do before we head to Elden. So that's good stopping point. Alright, hello Beetle. I'm actually gonna buy something so you don't knock me on my butt. Give me this adventure pouch upgrade. Oh. That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. I love that they basically use the exact same sound effect from Wind Waker. This to be the most useful useful thing imaginable for is 300 rupees. Well, damn. Oh. Time to oh. take the L. Hi. Alright, goodbye. I thought this was only 100 rupees. Well, I don't really want to grind bamboo till I get 300 rupees. So, unfortunately, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we head for Elden. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.